This is a could be question and therefore we need only one case for each of these three cases to be proven correct. When we cannot find even one case, we put a cross mark. Otherwise, we put a check mark. That is our approach towards solving this question. Look at case 1. This is of course going to work when the value of x is let's say a huge positive number, y is relatively a much smaller number and z is closer to y. Let us say z is 5. So you see x upon y is 10 and y upon z is 2. Of course 10 is greater than 2 so we have got a case where statement 1 holds and therefore we can put a check mark for statement 1. Look at statement 2. Statement 2 can hold in cases such as this one. Imagine z is a big positive number magnitude wise. Let's say this is minus 40. x is a much smaller negative number say negative 5 and y. We want y upon x to be small in magnitude. So let's have y closer to x let's say negative 10. Now see z upon x is 8 and y upon x is 2. Of course 8 is greater than 2 so we have have got a case where statement 2 also holds. So statement 2 is also true. This could be true. Look at statement 3 now. In the third case we want z upon y to be greater. So how about we take z and y as negative values. Let's say z is minus 100, y is minus 10 and x is anything positive. Let us say positive 100 for example. You see z upon y is going to be something positive. z upon y is positive 10 here x upon y is going to be something negative. It's going to be minus 10 here. Anything positive is always going to be greater than something negative. So we have a check mark for statement 3 as well. 1, 2 and 3 each could be true and therefore E is the correct answer choice.